My name is Kate Woolsey and I am an illustrator. Actually, no, I don't think that's what I want to be. That's hard to say illustrator because I also have gone through like a sewing phase and a screen printing phase and a book binding phase. I mostly focus on like uh, human uh, subjects. A lot of times my characters are inspired by people or situations that I see in public that I think are really humorous. As a little kid, I loved to draw a lot. I had a really big obsession with drawing men with mullets and cowboy boots. And then we had a Japanese exchange student who taught me how to draw Snoopy, and that kind of just took off um, my love for drawing weird, like, little characters. And then, you know, with the Sunday funnies back in the 80s, every Sunday I would get the funnies out and just copy the characters or like draw similar characters to them or like change the clothes or like give them a mustache, probably some cowboy boots and a mullet. A lot of older people really love my work and I think it's because I play on a nostalgia factor. I've always really liked, um, you know, the 1950s, 60s and 70s. Also, um, people really identify with different objects and things that I put in um, my art. For instance, I did a piece with like one of those viewfinders that you click to see the different images and a lot of people have just said, oh that's so nostalgic for me, or like the old school bicycles have always been really popular, like the old Schwinn cruiser type looking thing. People really love that stuff and connect to it. it brings back memories of their childhood and I feel like it helps them connect to what I'm doing. Little kids generally really like it, but I think it's just the colorful and the playfulness of everything that I create. I feel like because I make art, I'm more aware of colors and textures and different things like that, especially right now I've been doing a lot of digital art and making my own textures to scan in and overlay. So I'm much more aware of, you know, textures and colors and patterns and people and conversations and anything that will inspire me to bring it into my artwork. Whereas if I wasn't creating these types of things, I might not be as likely to be paying attention to things like that. over time my characters have really changed a lot. They went from being these like kind of pale sad kind of looking characters to being these like really bright happy cheerful you know and that just kind of progressed over time. It's really interesting to look back and just kind of see how my characters have developed. Mm -hmm.